Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. On the gold market, uh, price mostly shows the action according to our yesterday's conclusions. So you can see, um, gradually but stably, market is moving lower. And uh, yesterday, uh, we've got another pattern that uh, just gives us more confidence and probably market will take down the recent lows around 1075. This pattern is the bearish grabber. So you can see here, market has tested the month P uh, sorry the MACD predictor, but has failed and closed below it. So it just uh, grabber is the failure of the trend shifting, and it suggests it's the minor target the taking out of these lows. This in turn uh, makes possible appearing of the double repo buy pattern. So currently it it hasn't excluded totally. Uh, because as you can see, we have the nice thrust down. So if you let me, I will clear the MACD predictor. So we do not need them anymore. So we have the thrust down, close above the 3x3, three three, close below. And probably market will take it out of this loss and creating the new lows. So now the major question is whether market will stop here. So washing, will show the washing rings of this loss and return right back up. Or it will just drop miserably. So if market will show the first scenario, so it will grab the stops by this grabber and return it back up and close above the three by three again, that will be the double repo buy that could lead market upper and show this upward retracement and market really could retest this broken lows around 11:30. That will be probably the 50% level because fib levels also will shift slightly lower if market will show the new lows. Market right now is not that they were sold, so you can see it's just flat action here. Now let's see what will happen. Uh, it's really if, but if market will show the reversal here to the upside, that will be really dramatic reversal as we have discussed yesterday. I, I have uh, explained yesterday in our video all nuances of this possible reversal and why and why this situation really thrilling. It's a bit complicated, but the complexity of this situation um, makes difficult to, uh, for trading. That's why not everybody will be able to trade this and not everybody sees uh, what's really happening here. And so that could be really our advantage, the moments that we have discussed yesterday. On the forward time frame chart, as we said, this could take the shape of the butterfly buy. Uh, here we see the bearish signs. Uh, that we have said yes, the market wasn't able to complete the drive pattern, it's bearish. Market wasn't able to reverse up based on the head and shoulders, that's also bearish. Market wasn't able to pass through the weekly pivot point, that's also bearish. So today market could drop further, taking out of this loss, shows the wash and rinse and reach this support. This is 127 extension of the butterfly and the weekly pivot support one. And that will be the focus, that will be the uh, major point to watch for, the culmination point whether the market will return it back up or it will just fail and continue move lower. So if it will be a reversal, first clearing the stops, just drop lower, grabbing the stops, first return it back up. That's what we wash from rinse. In this case we could take the long position based on this butterfly because this could lead, really lead market to the 1130 area. That's will be the major point to watch for today. Uh, if not, if market will just miserably drop here, well, in this case we probably will continue to our next destination around 1050 area.